I bet you think you know what Christmas is all about. Love, tradition, people coming together in the spirit of peace and harmony. Well, you don't know the whole story. The true horror of the Christmas season. Let me spin you a tale. Everything that I'm about to tell you actually happened. How do I know? I was there. Flashback with me now. Christmas Eve, 1995. I was but a young locksmith's apprentice, returning home from a long, hard day of locksmithing. I knew I shouldn't have been out so late. What with the Christmas Eve killer on the loose again? Police had issued a citywide curfew, but it was the holidays and money was tight. Something was strange. Debbie would never leave the door unlocked, let alone open. That's day one of locksmith school. Debbie? What I would find in my Debbie. home would haunt me for the rest of my life. My wife's corpse had been tossed aside, like Christmas wrapping paper. But there was no time to grieve. I tried using my state-of-the-art Motorola to call for help, but I had no reception. Typical. I thought for sure this was it. I was a goner. But then I witnessed something that would chill the Christmas spirit from my very bones forever. <laughs> Hello? Oh, no. The jolly old man's lifeless body fell to the ground like a bowl full of jelly. Oh my! You murdered Santa! By Christmas law, well, that means you... Well, that means you're the next Santa. Have you seen the Santa Claus? By accepting the responsibility of Santa, you inherit all of the powers that come with it. But you must continue to bring joy to the millions of little boys and girls around. <gasps> Why? I rushed to Santa's aid, but his wounds were too grievous. There was nothing I could do but hold him dearly. I can't really blame him because he'd just been stabbed, but he mixed up my Christmas gift with my teenage neighbor's gift. It was kind of a weird moment, but I think I played it off well. I will never forget his dying words to me. Dakota Flannery, you've been a good boy, but know that with great power, that was all I needed to hear. I knew what he wanted me to do. I was to hunt down the new Santa and take my place on his throne. I spent years researching, traveling to the furthest ends of the world. I learned all there was to know about Santa's power and his weaknesses. He is damn near invincible, except for one night of the year. Happy, happy, happy. You're always so damn happy. Which brings us to today. It's been a long time, old friend. I will have my revenge. For my wife. For Bernard the Elf. And most importantly, for the one true Santa Claus. I really have no idea what you're talking about. I've never seen you before. I work at the mall! That's what they all say. You're out of your mind! But I will have your power. You don't have to do this! I made a promise.
damn. Another dead end. He wasn't the first Santa I've killed, and he certainly won't be the last. For my quest is never ending. My name is Dakota Flannery, and I will not stop until every last Santa is dead. <laughs> <laughs>